Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And ever since the Crisis on Earth X episodes came out, whenever they came out, you guys have had one big request. And that is of course for a Crisis on Earth X title template. So that's what we're doing today. Now guys, in order to get the template and to complete the effect, you need to head to filmlearning.com slash downloads and download the pack. You'll also need to download the fonts in the description. Now before we get into the effect, I just want to announce that Envato and Videohype have come on as sponsors for Film Learning. And that cool retro title that you saw at the start of the episode, well that's actually one of Videohypes. If you want to check that out, you can click the affiliate link below and, well, check it out. And it's one I personally picked out because I thought it was really cool. It even came with that sweet music. I'm actually really excited about this because they have so many cool things to offer and I can't wait to just show off a whole bunch of stuff to you. Let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and as you can see, here is the template in all its glory. But here's the thing, in order to customize this bad boy, we'll need to make an entirely new comp but I am getting ahead of myself and making it sound difficult, when in reality, it really isn't. In fact, it only took me about 15 minutes to make this custom title for Arrowverse commentator Pagey. He didn't need the EarthX title below, and his title also has less letters and required the camera animation to be modified, but it still didn't take longer than 20 minutes. Cool, huh? So our first step is to edit our Cinema 4D file, gang, because that's where this customization begins. So let's head to the project window, select our Crisis X Cinema 4D file, this one right here. We'll then head up to edit and select edit original. This will open our project in Cinema 4D. So here we are in Cinema 4D and let's check out a preview of our animation by clicking the play button. Our camera breezes past the letters in a close up, pans out to reveal all the title, our EarthX subtitle fades in and our text animates from green to a dark blue and our lights fade on. And lastly, the X jumps out into the screen. Nice, huh? So let's customize this title. Instead of Crisis, let's make this say Film. Now to do that, we have to individually change these letters. So we'll head up to the Object Manager, select the C, change that to an F, there we go. We'll then collapse down the R, change that to an I, and well, you get the idea. Just go through and change these letters to your liking, and once you're done, if you have any leftover letters like I do, just simply turn them off like so. Then you're done. We can now adjust those letters individually to bring them back into the center using the position controls. Now I like to go into multi-view mode, just this bit up here, and adjust them in the front facing section. It just makes the process so much easier. Once you're done, you can then head back to perspective mode. Now to change the Earth X tile is a little easier than that. Just collapse down the Earth X extrude right here, and then we'll change the text to say Learni. And then I'm just gonna leave the N letter off and use the X right here as my final letter. So as you can see, the X is independent of the rest of the letters as it animates and has that glow texture on it if we do a quick preview render. That one here. So we need to change that letter to an N. But once we do that, we do run into a bit of a problem. If we click on the extrude right here, you can see we have some animated keyframes here. So what we need to do is head to the first frame and then using our position controls, we'll move it to line up with the rest of the word. And once you're happy, we need to head down here and hit the keyframe button. That way it stays in place, but still retains its animation. If we now check out a preview, we've both customized the logo and the subtitle below and it's all working well. My only problem is our camera. It doesn't start on the first letter anymore because we've changed the fundamentals of that title. So here's how we fix that. Let's go ahead and select our camera right up here in the object manager. Make sure you're on the first frame of our project by just hitting that rewind button right here. We'll then switch out to multi-view mode, go into front mode, and then we'll reposition the camera so that the green on the F takes up the entire frame. That looks pretty good. We'll then go down, hit the keyframe button, and save our animation. If we check out a preview now, our camera starts on the F, pans across, and finally zooms out, and then our N jumps out at the camera. And believe it or not guys, we are totally done in cinema. So make sure you head over, save this as a new project, and rename it. That way, you can always come back to the original Cinema 4D file if you want to start from scratch. Now, let's jump back to After Effects and finish this off. 
So back in After Effects, and our first tip is to import our new Crisis Cinema 4D file, like so. We're then gonna drop that into a brand new comp. From there, we wanna extract the camera data so that we can easily add our video files to the letters in 3D space. So let's select our Cinema 4D file, head to the effects rack up here, and click on the extract button and that'll extract the 3D camera as well as all the lights. We're gonna delete the lights as we don't need them and we'll be using that camera data very soon. Now guys, it's at this point that I recommend you change the Cinema 4D settings from software to standard final, like so. And once it renders, we wanna render this thing out on its own before we do anything else, as this is gonna to totally spit up your workflow and really tackle that render time. So let's hit Control M, add it to the render queue, we're going to click on Lossless and grab QuickTime from the drop-down menu. And then in Format, let's grab Animation from that drop-down menu, and then you can rename your footage and designate a save location, and when you're ready, hit Render. When that's rendered, we'll import it back into our project, drop it into this same comp, and then we'll delete the Cinema 4D file from this comp as we don't need it anymore. OK, time to add the video to our letters. First off, we need to key out the green from our title, which is super easy. Just head back to my original Crisis Comp, select the title file, this one right here, and copy the key light settings like so. Let's then head back to your comp, select the title, and paste those key light settings right on. Done! Now it's time to add our videos. If we head back to my comp and scroll down, you can see we have several pre-comps here. What these represent are the close-up videos on the letters, and if we head down further, you can see we have pre-comps marked small, and these represent the letters as we zoom out. This might sound a bit confusing, but stick with me. Now let's quickly open up one of these pre-comps because I just want to show you what's going on. If we open it up, you can see there's just a video. This is just a simple comp that's full HD. Now, obviously, I can't give you the clips that I'm using, just the Flash, the Arrow, the Legends of Tomorrow clips, because, you know, that's not legal, but you can download them and put them into these comps yourself. So all there's gonna be is a placeholder in these when you open the template. You've just gotta grab whatever video you want and drop it in here. Then that video will fill the letters. Now let's get back into this. So what we wanna do is grab all of these pre-comps, copy them, head to our new custom comp, and paste them in below our title. Now before you shout, oh no, it's a gun and the bugged out. It's, that's to be expected, guys, just relax. As these comps were actually made to suit our crisis camera move in letters. So here's how we customize them. Let's start with our first letter, the C. Let's then turn off all the other pre-comps for starters. Then selecting that C comp, let's reposition it into place with our position controls. There we go. And let's check out a quick preview. Now you can see here we've run into a bit of a difference between our crisis letters and our film letters because there's less of them. The camera actually moves slower across these, so we actually have to extend the amount of time the video is on screen, and that's as simple as just stretching this thing out. Now if we jump back, you can see the video plays throughout the entire letter. And following on from that, because the camera moves slower across that F, we actually have to change the start point the next letter starts. So we'll just move that across a little bit. We'll now grab the next letter and reposition it into place, just like our last one. And I think I need to move it over a little bit more. Now, if you find that your video isn't filling up the letter fully, just hit S and scale it up slightly. And I do mean slightly. Just half a percentage here is huge as we are very zoomed in in 3D space. That looks pretty good, but if you need to reposition it, go for it. We can then follow it up with the next letter and just until the camera starts to zoom out. From there, we can delete any of the bigger pre-comps that we didn't use. So by that I mean, the camera never saw this letter here or this one, so we can just get rid of them because that only adds to your render time. Now we can focus on the smaller letters. To do that, we'll head further down the comp until we see the entire title like so. We can then move these videos into position letter by letter and to make sure they fit, just adjust the mask points so that they consume the entire letter. Just keep doing that for all the letters 
like so. And then delete any videos that you don't need if you have less than six letters. If we check out preview, our end result looks like this. Now my last step is just a cherry on top guys, it's just something that happens in the title, and that's to give our title here a slight glimmer across the caps. And this is very easy to do. Just head back to my original comp and copy the effect settings on this layer here. We'll then duplicate the title layer in your comp, boom, <laughs> and then paste them in. And then we're gonna change the transfer mode on this one to screen. We'll also need to hit T and bring the opacity down to around 20%. Now we only want this to last for a few frames, so let's trim this layer to start just after our video layers fade away, around here we'll do, and then we'll have it end before our final letter jumps out right here. Let's then head back to my comp, hit M on that same layer, select that mask and copy it by hitting Ctrl C, head back to your comp and hit Ctrl V on that title layer and that should paste the mask in and its animation. It's a nice subtle glimmer animating across our letters. And if we check out a final preview, that my friends is our Crisis X title template done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that's my take on the Crisis on Earth X title template. This is about as screen accurate as I think I'm gonna get and I'm really proud of it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But for now guys, that is my time. If you do have a request, throw it down in the comment section. I read them all and check that community tab for all of our work in progress stuff. And hey, if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button, I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, why not hit subscribe? And if you are subscribed, make sure those notifications are turned on. My social media crap is above my head. We've got a couple other Flash episodes over here and we've got a playlist up here. And until I see you again guys, keep learning.